Jedi. He's no good to me dead. He will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. You know what's going on? Welcome back, everybody, to Star Wars After Hours. I am Stefan Spolino. I'm Josh Combs. So we are very excited today. We received our copy of Darth Vader number one um, from mycomicshop.com. Yes. It is It is amazing. Pretty great. Yeah, it's pretty great. So we wanted to get out a quick episode uh, to review that. And if you want to pick up your own copy, you can go to mycomicshop.com slash star wars after hours actually you go to star wars after hours dot com oh yeah you can do that and click on the banner and then go to my comic shop dot com and uh that will give us a little kickback for letting you know about them and it's crazy how many comics they have but this one what do you think stefan well, it's it's amazing. I think this series is going to be a must-have for uh, Star Wars fans. If you're listening to this podcast, I'm assuming that you are a Star Wars fan. Uh, this is going to be a really good series. It, it is penciled beautifully. Um, it's it's got an interesting writing style. It, I remember how much I hate uh, Palpatine immediately. Yeah. And um, Josh, do you want to read the intro for us? Yeah. The Chosen One, Part One. The Clone Wars are over. The Jedi are defeated. Palpatine has become Emperor. Finally, in position to bend the galaxy to his will through the power of the Sith. Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker has fallen to the dark side of the Force, swayed by Palpatine's promise to help prevent the death of his pregnant wife, Padme. Skywalker betrayed the Jedi and became the Sith Lord Darth Vader. Defeated by his old friend and former master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Vader was left to die on the volcanic planet Mustafar. Retrieved by Palpatine and placed into a suit of cybernetic armor to preserve his life, Vader awakens to learn that his wife has died. Now, for Darth Vader, there is only rage, pain, and the new galactic empire. Oh, I read that and I got chills. Yes. So we open right at the end of episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Darth Vader is still strapped to his, his little medical chair. Uh, you see him break free. We see a little flashback of Padme. Um, and again, this is penciled so beautifully. Uh, we're going to show it. Definitely watch the YouTube uh, video of this. Um, Palpatine looks gnarly. Yeah. He's all wrinkled up. He's got some gnarly teeth. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, like, how they decided or you know who decided to change his look but i'm not against it whatsoever like, yeah he looks how like he like how evil he is like that's how he looks in this and i think that with the small amount of dialogue really um it kind of helps like show visually how evil he is rather than replicating what it was um in the uh, original trilogy. Yes, and on the second page here, we get a beautiful... There's a couple, like... N- here we get, like, a two-page spread of yeah. just just uh, Vader kind of, like, breaking stuff and pushing back Palpatine. But a lot, of the, a lot of the times, like, the people that, you know, wrote and penciled the comic use that opportunity to, like, show how badass vader can look they they under they understand yeah 
they understand how menacing he can be and they use this opportunity for his own solo run he gets lots of um like full page spreads and um just looks menacing throughout yeah and i love how they do the little like highlight the little like stroke around it and just for it to like show up like you can see his hand just like He's, I mean, I'm not sure if he's force choking him or if he's force pushing him, but like he is using the force like no, like, like he never had before. Oh yeah. And against Palpatine and that's insane. And he didn't see it coming. Mm hmm. And a big part of this is actually him finding out and um Darth Vader finding out about Padme and the reasoning behind it um behind that kind of the lie that Palpatine told him yeah but at the same time that's all he has so if i think it feels like um i think Darth Vader especially you know being Anakin at this age still he looks up to Palpatine as a father figure more than anyone else. And that's what he's got. So it's like, it's almost like an abusive father son relationship. Yeah. But, and he doesn't, you know, he can't do anything without him now. And he has to confront that right off the bat, like right at the beginning of the comic. He tells Palpatine, Palpatine, Palpatine. He tells Palpatine, (laughs) like, you told me you could save her. And uh, Palpatine says, you know, she's dead. Not even the dark side can bring her back. And uh, now you have a choice. You can use your anger and hatred or you can die. Yeah, I just want to read these little bubbles real quick. Because this is great. Padme is dead, my friend. Even the power of the dark side cannot bring her back. But in her death, she has given you a gift. Pain. Now you must choose. Will you accept that gift? Will you use it? Or will you die? I, the writing in this is great. It's That's so Palpatine. Yeah. That's, <laughs> it just cuts to the core of Palpatine and... And even though he doesn't look the same, like just the right, like everything, this is Palpatine, even though his face is different, like that's, you know. Yeah. That dialogue is so Palpatine. (laughs) And he didn't really like the fact that Vader overpowered him. Oh, no. He retaliates instantly. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, so when Vader breaks out of his shackles, he kind of uh, uh, force pushes Palpatine and sends him shooting back a little bit. And Palpatine takes the opportunity to immediately use some Sith lightning on him. Yeah, so here's my problem. We've heard and we've been read, we've read in visual dictionaries that Darth Vader's equipment, his suit, would be rendered useless if he was shocked by lightning. And even further than that, that is actually how he dies in Return of the Jedi. But right off the gate, you know, like right out of the gate, he can take it. Yeah, well, at this point, he's so strong yeah. and uh, filled with, you know, dark side, the energy of the dark side. And I think at the end there, he was kind of old and beaten and yeah. didn't have that rage. And he was, I think he was probably going to die anyways, because I think the dark side was pretty much the only thing still keeping him alive at the end. And I also read somewhere that Palpatine kind of like throughout the years without Vader knowing would like downgrade his his suit a little bit like (laughs) really like introduce interesting yeah introduce new weaknesses to it if he thought vader was becoming too powerful or things like that 
But yeah, Vader gets a uh, Vader some gets punishment. Vader gets some punishment, and then we we uh, we Palpatine needs him to to get his own lightsaber, and I think this is kind of be the crux of this mini series. Um, and he explains to him why Sith have red lightsabers. They have to bleed their crystals. And we talked about this and I think episode two. Um, so if you yeah. want a really in-depth exclamation of crystal bleeding and all that, um, that's where you can find it is in episode two. Uh, so we get a cool shot of uh, Palpatine. It looks like he's knighting Darth Vader and he's about to send him off to... He needs to kill a Jedi, basically, is what Palpatine tells him. Kill a Jedi, take the crystal, and then you can have your own Sith Saber after you bleed it. Yeah, and, um, I mean, he threatens, he threatens Vader from the start. You know, if, if you do that again, I'm going to do what Obi-Wan couldn't finish. Yeah. You know, and then so he's if like, you ever use the force on me again like that, I'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah, that's and he's got to send him off to find his his own lightsaber. Yes, and then we get some cool shots of um just building up the whole the whole lie that the empire was built on. Um Masamita is uh kind of preaching to the civilians. It looks like this is probably on Coruscant. Mhm. Um telling them, you know, we don't have to fear the Jedi anymore and fear the oppression of the Jedi under our new Lord and savior, uh, Palpatine, Emperor Palpatine. And there's a shot of them putting all of the lightsabers of the slain Jedi into a kind of pot. And they're going to just vaporize these lightsabers. And Vader, I think even mentions Yoda's lightsaber being in there. Yeah. Sad. Sad, yeah. But that means that that crystal is... I don't know if it destroyed the crystals or are they harvesting the crystals from the lightsabers? Because, I don't know. It, maybe they're just melting the hilts. Yeah, because think about it. This is before the Death Star. Yeah, no reason to waste good crystal. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, imagine if this creates a whole new arc you know the fact that maybe darth vader bleeds yoda's crystal Ooh, yeah that would be cool but there's more into this that kind of makes it even more interesting in a way that uh palpatine tells him that he needs one of those crystals and Vader just wants to grab one of the ones that they're about to throw away. Yeah. He's like, mm. Yeah, Palpatine says, no, you need to go kill a Jedi and uh, use your rage to bleed your own. You know, make it difficult. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he says, you know, it's going to be a tough mission because we were so effective in wiping them all out during Order 66. Uh, so Palpatine takes Vader to, I don't think it says what planet it is. It does look sandy though, which it, is unfortunate. It looks very much like Tatooine, to it be does. honest. Um, and I'm not sure if it is, but that'd be very interesting because Palpatine just drops him off in the yep. middle of the desert yeah, on this planet. Palpatine the dick. He, uh, he tells Vader, you know, I got you your own ship, but, uh, it's not here. He Damn dark, thieves. He the dark mauled him. <laughs> yeah, the galaxy's full of thieves. So uh, he says, uh, follow the dark side, uh, go on your mission, and you'll be fine. Cl <laughs> closes the hatch, takes off. Just leaves Vader standing there. So Darth Vader begins to uh, track down his ship, and it looks a lot like Darth Maul's ship, the Skimtar. Remember the Skimtar? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly thinking yeah 
yeah it looks like the same model if not or like a similar model to very Darth similar Mulsher. it looks almost the same but it has like doesn't have the same like finish on it you know yeah the curvature is a little different but i yeah. mean it's the same the same basic layout it's a yeah. sleek looking ship and think about that this is also like how many years later yeah so you know they've upgraded since then that's just kind of how like the sequel trilogy they have tie fighters but there's like it's like two seats now it's like <laughs> mustangs yeah they go from blocky to sleeker i actually like old mustangs probably better but 67 69 yeah fast back ciao yeah. so eventually uh you know at the end we get to see what would a vader comic be like without a little bit of vader carnage so vader comes up along this camp and he's immediately starts kicking ass after he sees his ship that ship it is mine <laughs> dude and this is one thing that is amazing about this he doesn't have a saber at all mm -mm. he's got nothing to defend himself other than the force and he is kicking ass against like was this f like four people four or five people yeah four or five people all with guns all with you know like blasters they look pretty gnarly and he's getting hit and he gets hit pretty hard a few yeah. times and he's picking up little uh you know just scraps of metal <laughs> with the force and just like bolts and yeah and nuts stuff. and bolts <laughs> and just hurling them at these people and so he's like creating bullets with like nothing yeah <laughs> just force pushing bullets into people made out of like like nuts and bolts he wastes everybody throws one guy off a cliff um <laughs> And then I think he either fo force chokes this last guy or cracks his spine. He cracks the guy's spine, uses him as a human shield. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And he takes the other guy down, and then he leaves one. And then we get the the full page. Yeah, the last this last full page of this he, Vader looks so sick. Yeah, he you can really see the samurai influence in yes. this art style. Exactly, and you can see how big he is too. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty a pretty great one. You guys need to read this. Um, but writer, how do you pronounce that? Soul Sully, Charles, Charles Charles Soul Soleil Soleil mm -hmm. Giuseppe. Wow, these are some weird names. Giuseppe Camoncoli. Camoncoli was this made in Italy? I don't know. Or France? Cam Smith. Definitely France. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Giuseppe Camoncoli sounds quite Italian. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, yeah, yeah it's beautifully written. Uh, well, I, I don't know if beautiful is the right word. It's simply and effectively written. Y yeah. Um, it is beautifully uh, penciled and inked, though. Um, penciled, inked, colored, the whole nine yards. It looks great. And... Uh, I'm very excited to see where this is headed. I think, I don't know if we're going to get some major revelation unless, you know, he finds Yoda's crystal or... Or whoever Jedi he finds and has to kill to get their crystal. Yeah. This, this is Vader. Like, this is the start of Vader. And I'm actually really interested in where he got his lightsaber. Like, yeah, where he got no, his lightsaber me crystal. Too. Me and too. I mean, if he's on Tatooine... Obi-Wan's there. Maybe he'll fight Obi-Wan again. We don't know what exactly they were talking about. Like, because obviously that was made in 77 when they say, you know, that he hasn't fought him since a long time. Whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to say the exact lines, but... um. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to fight Obi-Wan. I don't think he's going to fight too, him. I it's think, too shortly after he just got cut in half by him. I think that there might be like a weird close call or something. Yeah, that could, that I could see. Yeah, and uh, maybe just them like sensing each other. And then maybe Vader runs away. Hmm. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. As far as he, any you know major plot points or anything, I, I think if there's going to be some revelation, it's going to come 
in the form of who he gets his crystal from. Yeah. So what Jedi is still out there. Or if they introduce another, a new Jedi. Well, I guess, yeah, a new Jedi that we haven't heard about that is still out there and got away from order 66. Um, there's also Kanan and well, actually, never mind. This is back. My, my timeline. Yeah, this is, is back up. in, this is, this is years and years before then. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Anywho, let so who could it be then? I mean, I guess it could be quite a few people because this is I I'm pretty sure that this is also gonna start um, the Inquisitors. Ah, okay. So this is actually heading like into into Rebels. Rebels. So mm. that I I really like the Inquisitors like as far as in like a concept i don't really like the ones that were in rebels because of the stupid lightsabers like a little helicopter lightsaber yeah and, they were strange yeah um they still have the um seventh sister at disneyland like it's such a weird like a weird character to have in their like it is main their main show but um yeah i just want to read through this really quick um just to make sure we listed the people who made this because there's some people who have re- replied to tweets from us before. Okay, and we are going to uh, show some shots of this and some video of it on YouTube, so we want to make sure we credit all um, those who are worthy of being accredited. Right. So, Mr. Pronunciation Master. Okay, so... Our writer, Charles Soleil. I'm going to go with Charles Soleil. Uh, pencils, Giuseppe Camincoli. Inks, Cam Smith. Colorist, David Curiel. Letterer, VCs, Joe Caramagna. Cover artist, Jim Twang and Matthew Wilson. Assistant editor, Heather Antos. Editor, Jordan D. White. Executive editor, C.B. Sebaluski, Editor-in-Chief, Axel Alonzo. Chief Creditor, Chief Creative Officer, Joe Quesada. Publisher, Dan Buckley. Yeah. So let's give them a quick round of applause. Because this is the first of many. And... Well, might not be many, but it's the first of a very interesting story. Um, and then there's a funny thing in the back of this. Um, it's just an extra comic added onto it. It's got more of a, um, what did you say? It was like a Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes, Hobbes vibe. <laughs> yeah, it's called No Good Deed by Crit. God, God, what are these last names? Yeah, those are, those are pretty brutal. Uh, Chris... Eliopolis and Jordan oh. Belair. Wow. Belair. Or something. Eliopolis. Yeah, it's it's a goofy little <laughs> comic about a Vader getting mad at a mouse droid. Or... <laughs> it's pretty much told... It's a story about Vader told from the, like, from the perspective of a mouse droid. That's pretty funny. It's ridiculous. <laughs> droid, prepare my meditation chamber. Like, imagine, like, that little stupid droid goes and, like, <laughs> does shit for him. <laughs> it's like his little, little mouse droid. It's like Darth Vader's cat or something. <laughs> yes. It's not even, like, a cool droid to have. I didn't really think about, you know, what these little guys do. They just buzz around. And you Vader's never, like, you hey. never see him doing anything. <laughs> How's a mouse droid going to get a meditation chamber ready? Yeah. And uh, he also force chokes someone and... Uh, the mouse droid gets to see that. It's very interesting. I would say that you guys should read this because it's pretty funny. I, and I do like the art style for what it is, you know? Like for being kind of like a like cheesy, jokey comedy type of comic. Yeah, it's silly. It's a nice little add-on. But, um, yeah, it's, I think he chokes probably, uh, I think like three people. Ah, very good, very good. 
So to close out here, um, we're going to show in the video, definitely check out the video for this episode. We're going to show a lot of the actual inside of the comic, a lot of the meat. Um, so we want to know if you want to tweet us, slide in our DMs, <laughs> or uh, just comment on the YouTube video. Where do you think the comic is headed? And do you have any ideas, theories? We love theory crafting. Yeah. Do you have any theories about who the Jedi he's going to get his crystal from might be? Yeah, that's a big one. That is a big one. And uh, so we have the next issue. Darth Vader number two is actually coming out or came out today on the day that we are recording this, the 21st. And I have already ordered my copy from mycomicshop.com. Yes. And I'm very excited about that. Um, once that comes in, we'll do this again. We'll, we might throw it into another podcast or something so we'll go over that and and we'll talk about the um the series and where it's going and where it's uh where the comics are headed right right so please rate and review us on itunes if you rate and review us i will um me and josh will invite a star wars character onto the show and they will read your review definitely it's fun and it's helpful um comment tweet interact we like interacting with people um oh and also you can win this cassian Andor. it's a pop funko pop figure all you have to do subscribe to us on youtube and then comment csn i'm gonna make it that easy Subscribe to us on YouTube and type in the comment CSN. Cassian. Yep. Cassian. Um, you can do the same thing for Instagram. Yeah. And Twitter. And, uh... Oh, also, I just wanted to let you guys know we have um, a really cool episode with Josh Taylor from Modern Mouse... Uh, radio and network 1901 that i need to put out we're kind of a little behind because we've been busy and josh just started a, a new job and i work two jobs so yes so there is a lot of content still to come it's on its way so don't worry subscribe and you'll get all of that like next week so i'm gonna have this I think coming out. Yeah, I think gonna we're going to record Dathomir next week, too. I think yeah. We for sure. Have we're going to gonna talk about all the creatures of Dathomir. And then, of course, we're going to get caught up with all the news and the Hollownet news episodes. Yes. Um, thank you guys for your support. Have a great rest of your day and or night. Yeah. Do what you do. So be it, Jedi. You have to be fat for no? He's no good to be dead. You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. You know what's going on?